Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today we are going to look at Cisco CDP and a neat little uh, utility called CDPR. So let's just jump right into this. So a little background information and one of the most frustrating tasks we network technicians face is determining what switch and port number a host is connected to. In some cases, the cabling is behind cabinets, partition, desks, just basically difficult to access. And sometimes, you know what? cables aren't even labeled right anyways other times you may need to figure out which port is a host which port a host is connected to remotely that's a really challenging one when you have remote troubleshooting so Cisco and some other vendors transmit information using the Cisco discovery protocol so we can leverage that Cisco is very useful to find out how other CDP devices are interconnected. So here's an example of a Cisco switch using the Cisco show CDP neighbor command. And you can see that we've got this UBNTAP in the garage and that's a ubiquity device which sends out CDP. So that's one thing to keep in mind that even though it's called a Cisco discovery protocol, other vendors will use it. So now I know that the access point is on this port. I know what the platform is. I know this thing called Brian is on port 7 and it's a 2940 as well on gig 01 and connected to gig 27. So you can make sure that when you have gig and gig they're facing each other it's not gig and fast ethernet that sort of thing. Just be careful because some network devices uh, may have their configuration altered so CDP may be disabled and if you need to know what that command is called no CDP enable will do that. You can do that either globally or on a port by port basis. So another helpful Cisco command is show CDP neighbors and the word detail at the end of that. And by doing that, it'll not only tell you that little summary screen, but tell you a little bit about those devices, such as the IP addresses, the actual interface, the capabilities of that device, what kind of device it is, that sort of thing. And if you do want to manually find out what port you're on you can always do that with Wireshark right so when you capture with Wireshark to start a capture no filtering required because we're going to provide a display filter and as a display filter you just type CDP please make sure it's lowercase it is case sensitive and you'll see the bar will go green because Wireshark will make sure that you've actually typed something incorrectly and you have to wait because uh, by default CDP on most systems will come out every 60 seconds and I said most because it can be changed and don't forget other types of devices other than Cisco might use CDP as well right so in this case you can see I had two packets come out every 60 seconds and when I look at my detail pane I can see all the same type of information so this is neat if I could just go to anybody's port and I plug my computer in running Wireshark I'll find out the IP of the switch the port the name of the switch what VLAN I'm on all sorts of cool information now if you want to find out what port somebody's connected to um, on a Cisco device, the best way to do that, and again, mileage will vary and commands are slightly different depending on the iOS and the Cisco device you're on, but the concepts are the same. So you log into the switch. Sometimes you require enable modes. Just make sure you need to know if that's required. Ping a host's IP address. So you just ping and then whatever the IP is. And that's what you see here, ping and the IP address, 1044.10.1. And you can see it went off, it pinged at 100%. Life is good. So now we use the show ARP and the IP address that we pinged and you can see it tells me the MAC address. After I get the MAC address I can simply provide that with the show MAC address dash table pipe INC and that MAC address and it tells me it's on port 1. There you go. Now please keep in mind that there are other variations on the show MAC address uh, show MAC address table command so you can use different types of uh, options like interface and that sort of thing. Now, the easier way to get the CDP information without running Wireshark is to simply, oh, I did a little typo up there. There you go. Is to use CDPR. So it's a free command line tool that will listen and display CDP information. Basically what Wireshark did for you without having to go through all the packets and that sort of thing, right? So it does require WinPCAP to be installed. So if this thing pops up, system error, it can't start WinPCAP DLL. That's kind of the keyword right there. Uh, just go get WinPCAP, install it. Or if you install Wireshark, it installs WinPCAP for you as well. So when you do run, it's pretty straightforward. Just CDPR. Um, you'll see the prompts in just a few minutes. Uh, just please pay attention because you have to wait that 60 seconds for the actual packet to appear on your screen. 
So there it is, sample output, CDPR. It pops up, shows me a list of all the adapters. For the people who are Wireshark familiar, it's the same kind of thing you get with T Shark space dash capital D, uppercase D. And pay attention to which interface you want to use, right? So interface number eight, you can see this nice big long interface string. And then this one says PCI Ethernet controller, right? Because you could use other adapters as well. In this case, I want to use number eight. And it says I'm going to use this device, and that's kind of important for the for the next tip. Okay, so that's the actual device description. It's going to wait for the adver advertisement, 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 and you'll see that it says Dexter, the name of my switch, the IP of the switch, and I'm on port nine. So that's good to know. Now, if you want to skip the question, or you're running this in a script, or you're trying to do this remotely on a customer's computer, you can just provide a dash D option and this is where you need that big long string right don't type number eight it's not going to work so when you do that dash D in the interface it just immediately listens and provides the information and you're good to go right so that's great for like scripting or when you have to have somebody else do that for you the last one is going to be the dash V the verbose option and what that will do for you is provide all the same level of detail we saw in Wireshark I've summarized this and got rid of some of the extraneous stuff just so you can see the highlights and it tells you the platform 3750 48 port obviously the IP address the port capabilities so this is actually supports layer 3 routing and layer 2 switching it tells me the VTP management information if you need to know that obviously the VLAN and that sort of thing so it's a neat little tool you might want to put in your toolbox and that's it. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.